Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot T. Okay, you already know if you like what you see, please go ahead. We already got spirit talking. Please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay, do not be afraid to come on through the building, hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the T team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages. If you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, dftarot at Cash App or PayPal. Y'all, let's go get into it because I'm going to tell y'all, I got a vibe today. So we about to go ahead and jump into it. A lot of dark feminine energy coming through the building today. We came out the gate with the Wick and Reed, baby. Okay. Point blank period. Uh harm none, take no shits. Okay, that's coming out the gate first. Somebody is being categorized as the wicked witch. That's literally what I heard. So that's what I'm starting with. Somebody stood in their dark feminine energy. Somebody became the storm. And you got somebody out there that can't take it, baby. They can't take you. You heard me. They can't take you. Okay, they like, uh, you are sickening for this person. You got down on somebody. I don't know if it was words. I don't know if it was action. But, baby, they sick to their soul. I can't tell you that. That you let them know who run what and who runs nothing. Shout out to Nikki. Y'all see Nikki over there crying and carrying on the other day? Mm -hmm. Sis going through. Girl, I don't know what sis got going on over there. Girl, might be to change your life or anything. All right. Uh, somebody, you're feeling like y'all was friends. You're feeling like y'all was doing y'all. We see, see our lady of growth assured. See, whatever the situation is, there's someone in your life. Your growth has shocked them because your roots have changed. Okay. Your roots, you have blossomed and changed and come into a new, and you have really laid down on somebody in full witch energy. Like somebody got down on somebody. Okay, and I don't even want to say in full witch energy, but that's where they're placing it. You know, when people can't get over on you no more, that's what they're going to say. Oh, I'm she went crazy. She's this and that. Okay, yes, you are in your dark feminine. We see moon. We see soul. We see our lady of radiant grace. We also see force. Okay, you put your force down on somebody, baby, and you got them to their feelings. You got somebody out there in their feelings because they can feel the force. They can feel the energy. They can feel the fun. Yeah, yeah. Let the rhythm. Mm hmm Somebody can feel it. Somebody can feel it, and they sick, and they hurt, and they're making you the bad guy, okay? No surprise there. Spirit, tell us who is this person. Somebody is making you the fall guy for their foolishness. Somebody is saying you're the reason that. You're not the reason that. They're the reason that. Okay? They're the reason that. Three of swords. This person's heart is broken. Okay? Somebody's heart is flat out broken by your actions. Okay? Their heart is broken. Three of swords. Ten of swords. When you... Harm none, but took no shit. So you didn't do no horrible deed to this person, but you wasn't finna let them pull nothing on you. Okay, three of swords, ten of swords, energy. This person's heart is broken. They are flattened because you spoke truth to their soul. That's what did it. You spoke truth to them. Knight of cups, page of cups. You spoke truth to a masculine in your life who was behaving immaturely. And this has crushed. This has flattened. This has killed this person because this person thought they knew you. Okay, you see them roots there. This person thought they knew you to the root. This person was like, yo, I know, I know her. I kind of know what to expect. And they didn't know. They didn't know what to expect. They tried it. King of Swords in reverse. This person was being very immature. They tried to attach themselves to you by way of manipulation, by way of telling lies, by way of playing games with your mind. They thought. You heard me. They thought they was playing games with your man. Four of Wands. And you know what's wild? They were actually doing this to get you into a marital situation. This wasn't even somebody that was doing this, you know, like I'm doing this to draw a wedge between us. No, girl. This person was doing this to get you. <laughs> Ain't that something when somebody do, they doing you dirty as a means to get you? What? Who are you? Who are you getting your advice from, son? Okay. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They felt that with you, they weren't reaping anything, okay? I'm getting this message. Y'all got to hear me. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. 
this person felt like they weren't reaping anything from being with you. They weren't reaping the value. See, this is what I'm hearing. Underneath it all, this person felt like they wanted you in a way that they didn't have you, even though y'all were dealing with each other. They didn't feel like they were getting everything that you had to offer. Somebody had very selfish intentions and they were hiding these intentions from you that they wanted to really, really be able to come in and reap the full benefit of your life. Meaning what spirit? Okay. This person wanted to be able to get full reign of your home. Five of Pentacles in reverse. They wanted you to invite them in and make them the head of your household. And girl, I don't care what this means. I don't care if this means you got a household full of pets, kids, just you, job, whatever it is. This person was like, yo, bring me in and make me the head of the table. Okay. And they didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. Head of what? Baby, what you, who, who you talking to? They didn't know that. The moon comes through in reverse. This person, this person underneath it all, they had a dream about who they wanted you to be. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person was coming in. They were very jealous of you, jealous of your success. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They were jealous of you, jealous of who you are, jealous of the authority that you stand in. And there was a shadow element here. They want, th let me tell y'all something. Thank you, Spirit. This was a masculine that was jealous of the authority that you carry because he doesn't quite carry that. He wanted to be you in a sense, right? The, the, the authority, the dark feminine energy, the, the storminess of you, your ability to speak up and speak out the roots that you have within you that are the actual ones, not the ones he thought you had where you was going to stand by and let him pull some nonsense. He wants to be that kind of guy. That's who he wants to be. That's how he wants to be seen. He isn't that guy. He isn't seen that way. And he's bitter and upset about it. So there was some jealousy about you. You are keeping yourself up, okay? There was some jealousy about that because you have the wherefore thou, the wherefore thou, okay? And the mental state to keep yourself up. Nine of Pentacles keeps herself sharp as hell. He's upset about this. He's upset that you were keeping yourself up. You're a lady of esteem, prestige. Okay, I'm getting very much rich auntie. Okay, rich baby mama. You know, I'm getting I'm getting uh, all types of uh, Delina perfumes and all of these beautiful assets that you like to attribute to yourself. You may be making your own oils, beautiful bangles. You're keeping yourself adorned. And this man, though he's attracted to you, you don't understand. He's sitting back feeling away because he's not in a position to carry himself in that way. The will of fortune so he's coming through the building okay trying to kind of shift your fortunes in a way that would allow him to be the person that dominates we see the seven of swords in reverse this man had tactical plans strategic plans he was looking to kind of pull off a caper in a sense by kind of switching places with you he wanted to harness your energy in a way where he literally became it. So it was a situation where he wanted to create a relationship where to the outside world, you would have looked like you were the one that was immature. You would have looked like the one that was head over heels in love with him and that he was dominating you and taking you along when in reality it's the other way around. Okay. And then he would have looked like he got his shit together. He's giving rich baby daddy energy. He's giving rich um, energy. And you're like the love sick girl that's chasing him. That's the reality that he wanted to create. Okay, that's not reality though. That's the, the version that he was hoping to ride with. And because he was not able to do that, okay, with you, we are now seeing someone, there's there's bitterness, there's upset, there's irritation, there's aggravation with you when you put your foot down and let him know, you know, I, I don't have to be smooth or suave. I really can put you in your place, okay? And this is the point in the game where he begins to fill away. We do see Ten of Cups energy coming through, okay? This man was sitting in the background, kind of watching you be the star, observing you, okay? But not realizing once that Queen of Swords energy came out on you, and it came out in reverse. So, girl, you cut this man up. You cut this man up. Ten of Wands. And you became a barrier to the tower energy he was trying to create in your life. Girl, when you blew up on his ass, okay, you gave him the tower and the knight of swords. You went off on this man. You let this man know what was what, and you did it quickly. You came in in rebel energy. And I'm telling you, once again, this was the energy that he wanted, the tower and the knight of swords. He wanted to be that, this kind of 
I'm coming in. I'm the rebel. I'm going to set, set shit on fire. He wanted to come in on that energy. He wanted to be the one that was seen that way. Girl, that didn't happen, okay? That did not happen. Had to give me a little coffee. That did not happen. And this man ain't taking it well um, at all, okay? So let's look at the details, y'all. What exactly went down and what exactly happened that left this man sitting here feeling like, girl, you got down. You, you bested him. I don't know. it. I'm getting very much five of swords energy. It became kind of a contest, okay? And he lost. He lost. Well, look at this. Cut the deck on Queen of Swords and Death, baby. You you got down on him. Do you understand us? Do you see that we cut the deck on the Queen of Swords and the Death card? Death card, Queen of Swords, baby. I can't make it up. That's your energy. Queen of Swords, Death card, energy. That is you, boo-boo. Girl, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, when we cut the Queen of Swords, when we cut it the next time. Girl, Queen of Swords and the Death card. Did I say Queen of Pentacles before? I was tripping. Queen of Swords and the Death card, energy, girl. And then we cut it on the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. I'm telling you, girl, you got down on him. I told you who you was, though. And you transformed this man's life. So we're going to go ahead and get into the details because this man was making a lot of plans based on who he thought you were. I thought you was. This man was trying to get down on you based on who you, he thought you was. And this was a man that actually was planning to marry you, playing these kinds of games. Girl, what? We can't have that. We cannot have that. This man was trying to marry you. Playing these kinds of games. I just, I need you to digest that. Because I can't. So I'm going to ask you to digest it. Okay. Spirit seeking clarity. Show us the details. What happened with this fool? What was going on? Show us this man. Because somebody, somebody, girl, your man, your man got his whole wig blew back. King of Wands. Okay. King of Wands. This is a man who is potentially a fire sign energy or maybe high in fire sign energy. When we're talking about fire sign energy, we're talking about Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, okay? It could be his sun or his moon or his Venus or his Mars um, energy and, or his, yeah, Venus. Where am I getting placements from? Or even his Neptune, okay? These are energies that are high prevalent in his, in his life. Um, in his category. This is part of the reason this man thought that he would have what he have what he needed to have to kind of blow your socks off. There's also a lot of water sign energy attached to this man as well. Cancer, Gemini. Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio. Um, so look for those two kind of water and fire energy. So we're seeing right out the gate, this is somebody that's very, very passionate and very emotional. Those are things that are going to categorize who this man is. Um, and from you, we're seeing a lot of, y'all saw it now, okay, Queen of Swords. So we're talking about you could potentially have high air sign energy with you, Aquarius, Libra, um, Aquarius, Libra. Y'all know I had them days I draw them blanks. Air signs, Aquarius, Libra. Y'all, I'm crazy. Gemini. Okay? So these are, are areas that could be high with you. Also, Earth sign energy. We saw with Nine of Pentacles. So you could have also be high in Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Okay? So with all of this being said, there's a lot of opposing energies, right? You're coming through very solid, mentally solid, and you're grounded when you come through with source and earth. And then we see this man coming through here with a high amount of water and fire. So he's kind of all over the place. He's super emo. Um, and you're just besting him by being able to be cool, be smooth, and stand on your feet. And that's what he's jealous of because he's emotionally really not as well balanced or put together as you. He's also not as well spoken as you are, okay? So this man has been sitting back in the background kind of trying to tally things up and figure out what he can do to really get you to become somebody that somewhat works for him in a sense. This page of pentacles. Your mind, your your talent for mental, the, the mental aspect of things and communication, your ability to be balanced and grounded and understand how to kind of make something out of nothing. I'm getting a vibe that that's really your gift. You, you truly are an alchemist. You can make something out of nothing. This man was trying to figure out how he could basically alchemize you in a way that would allow him to leverage his own shortcomings. Again, this man was looking at you saying, well, she's a good thinker. He know he not. This is somebody that knows, they know their weaknesses. This man knows he ain't that much of a thinker. He knows he ain't really super articulate, okay? This man knows what his talents are. This man knows that he ain't good with money. So he was hoping to get this, get in this space with you and then leverage that, okay? Page of Pentacles. I'm going to figure out how to get her to be the person that's counting my money, putting the plans together, okay? Basically being a wind beneath my wings so he could appear to be a strong king of wands, which he is not, 
okay? This man was coming into this situation thinking that the heart, the three of swords and the devil card energy. This man was coming into this situation kind of with nothing, okay? And thinking that putting you in a position where you would basically be somebody that he possessed, um, somebody that he was using their energy to get over on in his best possible way, somebody that... Um, he could kind of use you to uh, basically get into kind of, I'm hearing a revelation. This man was looking to, this man was looking to reveal to you a lot of manipulation. He's going to try to make you feel like you were heartbroken, maybe leveraging a previous breakup or something with you. He was trying to do, you know, you need a man like me. Think of what you've been through before. And this was just going to be a way for him to kind of tether you to him. So that he could get to this ten of pentacles that he so desperately wants. Pay attention that we also pulled pentacles again. What is this man trying to get to? A life that looks like the life of a patriarch. This man was trying to basically become a patriarch on your back. Um, I look like a patriarch now. I look strong. I have something that looks valuable. I have a family. That's why he wanted to move into your home. He's trying to leverage his shortcomings off you. I'm not a man who has a home, who has a family, who's a patriarch, who sits at the head of a table, but she got a table, a home, and some. If she just bring me in there, then I can look like those things, which I am not. This man is at a deficit, okay? This man is at a deficit in his own spiritual and physical life. And tethering himself to you with this three of swords, the devil, the ten of pentacles. This was this right here is the curse that he was trying to lay down on you, the hex, and kind of block you in to like, oh, you know, you would be heartbroken without me. I own you. It's me and you forever. And I'm trying to get you in this ten of pentacles. And he was really going to try to leverage this ten of pentacles. Look at this magician on the bottom of the deck, okay, playing these games. He was really going to try to leverage this ten of pentacles because with leveraging this ten of pentacles, He's thinking, well, any woman wants this. So I know that I can basically get her to give me the seat of patriarchy. See, understand something. You control this relationship. You control where it goes and where it doesn't. Okay, that's why there's such devastation that you ate his ass up. Because the only way he was going to become a patriarch is if you let him be one. This isn't a man that knows how to go out of full emperor, emperor energy and lead. This is a man that was looking for you to make him an emperor. So you were very much in control of him, okay? Very much in control. Ten of Pentacles. All right. I'm just, I'm just saying. This man was trying to get these things off of your back because he wants the respect of his own family, who thinks he's a loafer. That's literally what I'm seeing. They feel like he just, you know, failure to thrive is the energy that the family is giving. Okay. Especially his grandmother. She really don't have nothing for him. They feel like he just has not really. When you're going to get a family, boy, when you're going to make something of yourself, okay? They in that type of time. Um, there's a lot of, of issues there with him being seen to be a man that never stepped into his masculinity. They're waiting to see him step into strength in the future, okay? We see that three of wands. They go to magician again, y'all. He's trying to figure out a way to create that illusion in his life. Okay, death card energy. Here's your energy here. This man does not realize that attempting to play a trick on you is about to transform the shit out of his prospects. He thought he looked bad to his family before. <laughs> oh, he ain't seen nothing yet, okay? Queen of Pentacles with the death card. We're still seeing your energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Primarily Taurus. You may be a Taurus. Queen of Pentacles um, or have Taurus high in your chart. Queen of Pentacles with the death card energy. He's not going to be able to pull these tricks on you in his grandmother's name, okay? That's what he was trying to do. You know, Nima, I'm making it happen now. Here goes Shirley. No, no, you're not going to do it. Here goes Chevette. No, no, that's not what we're doing. That's not what you're about to do. That's what he was attempting to do, though, okay? Your energy comes through, and it becomes a block for the trick that he was trying to play um, on those that are around him, okay? We see the star. And the Ten of Wands. This man had a lot of hopes and a lot of faith in the idea that he would be able to kind of cross over into another realm. And you created a very heavy load for this man in the end, okay? And judgment was called. Church bells ring when a judgment card comes to the building. Judgment was ultimately called, okay? Y'all, the question is why, okay? Where is this judgment energy coming from? Because judgment energy was called, okay? 
as this man was attempting to pull his uh his one two, girl, it, it didn't it didn't it didn't go over for him like he was. It, it went for bad, okay. It went for bad, okay. And it, it, it went for bad very quickly. The moment he tried to pull his one two, okay. Uh, you're a praying woman, first of all. So this by itself, and I'm just gonna give you what this is giving me. This stands in this stands in this uh ten of wands position. This was the obstacle. Okay, this is how judgment got in. You're a praying woman. You are a woman that prays. You are a woman that asks for constant protection. This is how this happened. Okay, this is how this happened. You found yourself in a position where there was a block, the star and the judgment card. He found himself in a position where there was a block between his hopes and faiths that he was going to get somewhere and judgment did fall upon him when he tried to have his way. Okay, this man was, what did I tell y'all? He was being very selfish. He was being very prideful. He was being very childish in his attempts to overpower you. Okay, in his attempts to tether himself to your life. His wanting to marry you, girl, it was it was purely selfish. Him wanting to become serious with you, get in your home, let's move in together, let's do it. It was purely selfish. It just wasn't coming from a pure place, okay? This man was pretending to have more going on than he did also. Financially, fake busy. Once you really looked into this man and what he had going on, girl, he was going to be pissed off. Okay? what I say? This man's going to pop the question, not understanding that you don't have a problem being single. I'm just, just period. You're not that girl. So another thing this man was hoping to leverage was desperation. You don't have no desperation. You don't have no desperation. Oh, she's going to be desperate for a man. No, I'm not. You tried it. No, I'm not. You tried it. And then you tried it. And then you tried it. You understand me? So this man, did not, he's not going to be able to get from you anything. Okay, that he was hoping to get. Um, these are the reasons that judgment was called upon him. Okay, there was already prayer going on with you. His heart was in the wrong place. He's pretending to be, you know, I got businesses. I got shit I'm, I'm working on. I'm putting money together. No, he's not. I need you to hear that loud and clear, okay? Um, yeah, I'm coming through. I'm going to marry you thinking you're desperate. You're not. So you were still sitting back, checking him out, looking at the way he does things. You're like, mm -hmm, this man might be fighting a couple of cases. We see these handcuffs and came off. You understand me? But still, there's an energy. So there could be some cases in the background hovering over him. A lot of things where he, this is how he's being seen. Understand me, an asshole, a thug. He's trying to get that off of him at your expense. I'm not that no more, Grandma. I'm living with her. We doing good. I'm a patriarch now, Ten of Pentacles. I'm a stepfather these days. You know, the dogs and kids. You know, I'm doing big things. I got a house now. This man would have been walking around claiming your energy and your hard work as his own. He's not going to say he moved into your, your home. He's going to say he has a home now. He's not going to say, I got a car to drive because of her. He was going to say... I just got a car. So this man was really looking to get the stench of who he is off of his own back by leveraging your accomplishments, your femininity, your strength, your ability to be grounded and make sound business decisions and say the right thing. He was going to use that for himself and then try to put you in a position where it was just you and him so that you really don't realize that this man is out here using your name <laughs> like it's his glory. Okay, speaking of you letting your halo make him something, you being the star upon him, he was going to allow you to become basically the, 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 the rising sunshine that made him shine in his life. Totally selfish, totally selfish. And it's because this man has been under a lot of pressure. These are the things that brought the judgment to his door. It's because this man is under a lot of pressure. He's anxious. He knows his time is running out. He knows he's moving towards being just an old washed up bastard. Okay. And he's hoping that something will go on between you and him that'll put you in a position where you'll start to revere him more. You'll start to see him as more of, you know, the man for you. That's what he's looking for. You know, please see me as the man for you so I can come in, get this pressure and shit off my back. By kind of 
you know, being in your glow. There's no other way to say it, okay? This man is trying to say goodbye to that life. This is man, this man had a certain amount of misery because he's facing failure. There may be some quarter life, midlife, or later life crises attached to this because this man was just suddenly in a space of anxiety and stress. And it's like, I got to do something to make myself look like I'm the man. I can't make it no clearer than I can. There goes Mary. He's trying to get married so people will stop looking at him as that same basically fuck up that he's always been looked at as, okay? He's trying to perpetrate as a divine masculine by marrying you. This is this is what he's trying to do. He's trying to appear to be a divine masculine through partnership with you. That's that's just what it is. That's just what it is. And he's hoping that this will be enough to save his reputation. Girl, the people around him are fed up, okay? This man is behind on his bills, okay? He can't rest. He can't relax. He's behind on bills, okay? Um, he got a lot going on in terms of pressure. There's child support issues. There's legal issues. So he's just going to try to wipe all that away by saying, oh, but look, you know, you can't beat being a deadbeat daddy, okay, by becoming... A patriarch to another woman and her children. But, you know, he got to learn that for himself. This man is stuck in a perpetual cycle of immaturity. You called him right. And you loved yourself enough to call him right. Like, you called him out. You, you were not wrong. You know, people try to, like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what you're talking about. You know exactly what you're talking about, okay? This man is down to work. And, you know, he got a little part-time job on the side. And you walking off and you not being, you straightening him out. Because we don't know if you walked off yet. We are still reading. But you straightening his ass out. This blew this man's man. This put him in the tower energy that he was trying to come and assert into your life. Now what am I going to do? Okay, she see through me. She not buying my foolishness. Now what? Now what? Now what do I do? She see through me. She's moved on, at least energetically, letting you know I'm not desperate. I don't have to do this. You're not about to just come into my life with all these problems and think I don't realize that you're trying to use me and my shine to make yourself somebody. Are you kidding me? Okay. So now that that's become, you know, who you are and where you are with him, what is he to do? Change has come through, okay? This man knows that he's in a position where he's going to have to do more. This man is coming to you with empty every fucking thing, girl. And this is what you saw in him. You saw that, look here, y'all, I want y'all to catch this. This is chariot energy here on this card. Girl, nobody's driving this chariot. Is there any, even anything in here? Girl, some old ass furniture in this chariot. With the initial CM on there. Which one of y'all is out there going with Chris Matthews, girl? Or, uh, girl, you out there going with Charles Melvins? Girl, you out there just going with somebody they call CM? You know how these dudes had them nicknames. Girl, you out here? Girl, who out here going with Corey Iron Michaels? Girl, I don't know who you are. But he pulling up on you? Girl, he got an old chariot that's got an old dining room chair in there. Girl, uh -uh. this luggage is vintage, this old shit. Girl, you're not finna accept this. And this is him like, I'm bringing you to our new home type energy. This is supposed to be the transition. This is supposed to be the shift, girl. This is supposed to be the change, sister. Girl. He taking you to 227 or some shit. This is some old played out. Girl, that's some old played out. He's, he doesn't have anywhere to take you. He made you an offering, girl. He doesn't have anywhere to take you. Girl, he don't... Girl, there's nothing in here. There's nobody even driving this damn chariot. Girl, where is he taking you? Uh-uh. You're not finna accept that. And, and then gonna start talking to you about having a child... And notice even here in this room, she got the pink the canopy and all this kind of energy. He can't afford to create no princess lifestyle for you or no daughter. There's nothing, girl, this, the shit in this chariot is old as fuck. 
again, all this man had to bring to the table was what he <laughs> was getting from you. I, I just, you, you understand me? That's all he had to bring to the table is what he was going to be getting from you. So how, how is he going to do all of this? He don't have nothing. House. So now we're pulling up with the vintage style furniture. Vintage style, not garbage, but vintage style furniture. He wants to have a baby. But see, he want to do this in your house. This is where he taking you. He taking you to you. And what he can add on to it is nothing, but he wants to be the head of house. He wants to be the head of house, so he doesn't have anything. All he's talking about is potentially adding another child to the plate. This other child might actually be his child, okay, that he ain't been taking care of. But see, he's trying to look like a patriarch. So being able to bring this baby into your situation, now I got a situation. Oh, you know, bring let, 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 let Laquita stay with me this weekend. I got a situation, you know. Me and my girl, we she come with us. We're going to do weekend together with the kids. We're all going to be together taking trips. And all of this, I just got to keep saying it. Girl, Miss Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Death Card Energy. Miss Dark Feminist spoke your mind and let him know and let the truth ring out. This is all on your back. He don't have nothing to bring to the table. He starts out at this, as this Knight of Cups, King of Wands, Page of Cups. This is an immature, fugazi, wannabe king. Coming to you, telling you, you his true love and all these different things because he's trying to impress his family because he wants people to think he's more than little busted ass Corian Martins from such and such the fuck middle school from back when, okay? He's trying to be a unicorn, y'all. This man is trying to create this idea of a wise patriarch and be a unicorn. Now, when we see the unicorn here, it becomes apparent that the people around him in the neighborhood he's from, it's a lot of deadbeat guys. He doesn't come from where it's popping. He comes from where the dudes are lax. He comes from where it's easy to be a hero. So he knows he can make himself stand out amongst the crowd by simply getting himself affiliated with you. This is just facts. Okay? Whatever crew he's from, he's not from, there's no... There's no, it's a brotherhood in a sense. I'm getting, I'm getting a serious brotherhood energy. Like he's tight with his friends, but it's not, it's not a, a high level brotherhood. This isn't a frat. This isn't, this isn't like say, you know, the nation of Islam or um, the, a Mormon or th there's not, this is not an organization of men that try to carry a code of righteousness. This is just a bunch of dudes that are exactly like him, but he wants to differentiate to differentiate himself from them. Also, by using you and harnessing your energy, he wants to differentiate himself from them and say, okay, look what kind of girl I got, though. This is what he wants to create on the distant horizon, okay? This is what he wants to create. I got it going on, y'all. I'm the unicorn in the group. He wants everybody in his friend circle to ultimately realize that he wanted them guys, okay? That's what his prayer has been. Girl, you just been praying for protection. That's the reason that him and his foolishness got exposed. That's why judgment was called on him. But girl, his prayer has been to find a woman like you who he can harness her energy to look like a patriarch to his friends, to, to, his, to everyone. His family, his social circle, Etc. 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 Okay, that that's what he's hoping for. For him, to him, that's what it's all about. Okay, that's what it's all about. This man is sitting by, looking at you, trying to avoid people questioning his mental health. This man's mental health, his grandmother been questioning it. They want to know why he out here making all these impetuous Knight of Swords-esque ass decisions. We know that because we see just a lot of fire and water from dude. So they like, what's with you? Like you, you, you speeding towards this and that type of decision. He got a lot of people questioning him in the background. You may have seen this. You may notice that his grandmother and them have questioned you or his friends. They just want to know what you all about. 
Because they're trying to figure out, like, well, what's up with him? Okay, what's his deal? People have questioned him. People have had concern for him. And, like, when are you going to grow up and really be that man? Like, when are you going to be that dude, main male? When are you going to be that dude? Okay, that's a question that kind of keeps coming to the forefront for him. When you going? When you going to be him? We waiting. Like, no, we're really waiting. Like, we're pulling for you, but it's like, when, are you kind of crazy or something? What's going on? When is it, when you going to really step into your zone, okay? I'm hearing it. Don't let me get in my zone, okay? You are now watching the throne. It's people watching for him to, to step up to the throne. Like, bro, when are you going to do something with yourself? I always see you do one failed relationship after another. And, and mainly, this is because of his immaturity. This dude has a lot of growing up to do, but he's not recognizing that. Instead of him doing the internal work, it's like, well, let me harness myself to someone. And you ain't the one to harness it. You ain't the one for that, okay? You are not the one. So this man has a lot of ancestral energy also around him, okay? And he's not, he's not adhering to that either. There is a push for him to do more. The way he's adhering to the push to do more from this ancestral astral energies is just to harness someone else, okay? Period. He doesn't want his ancestors controlling him, but they are. They are pushing him to do something more. He, his version of doing something more, girl. That, that's some nonsense. Again, he's just acting out of passion. He's not thinking. Y'all, this man ain't much of a thinker. I told you. You're the thinker. You're the sword's energy. You're the mental. Like, I got a strong mental base. That's why he's trying to, he trying to land him with you, Okay? Honeymoon, girl. He like, look, we're going to be going out of town. We're going to be doing all these amazing things. That's about him wanting to stick himself to you. I told y'all, taking trips and all that. This is about him wanting to stick himself to you. This man is trying to steal him a place in your life. Like, he trying to steal your timeline just to make it plain. And I want y'all to be aware of this and steer clear of this in the collective because it's a lot of this coming through the collective. Y'all, we, we saw it yesterday as well. People trying to steal time, okay? Yesterday, we saw an energy coming through the, the Divine Feminine Collective that was really just trying to steal time just so that you don't get to do what the Most High has for you to do. But right now, we're seeing this man kind of doing the same thing. He's just trying to steal your timeline, as in he's trying to merge his timeline with yours. You know, I'm no longer bummy-ass Corian, okay? I am now, I am now one of them guys, and that's because you one of them girls, so he's trying to steal your timeline for his own benefit, okay? I'm just giving it to you in the raw. This man's trying to steal your time, your, your timeline so that he can stop looking like who he is in his timeline, okay? Baby, keep an open mind and imprisonment. Girl, listen. Also, another reason you want to cut ties with this man, keep your mind open to the possibility of what's really going on here. This man is also trying to avoid child support court by hurrying up, child support garnishments by hurrying up and marrying somebody and kind of tethering them to some of these responsibilities because these financial responsibilities, because this man doesn't even have faith in himself to overcome this. Again, he's he's very childish. He's very emotional. Even these, this we saw all this wands and, and um, water energy. This man has made a lot of his uh, decisions, okay? This man has made a lot of his decisions from a place of sex. I'm just going to tell you all the truth and emotion. This man got their other children. Their children you may have not even heard of yet. Because this man don't think before he act. He just been out here. When he was a very young man, he has pregnancies from teenage years and on. And all this shit done caught up with him. And they about to throw his ass under the jail. Playing these, these games with child support, trying to evade. And he in trouble, y'all. And he been sitting back thinking about you like, hmm, I told you, praying for you. Girl, writing down petitions and all types of stuff. Because he been, I just need me a good woman, y'all. If I just find the right woman to hold me down. You ain't finna hold him down. You not, you, he looking for a fool. But he don't think that. He don't think that. This man is, is saying that you you did something to him because you simply wasn't willing to be. Ain't nobody finna tether themselves to your nonsense. What's wrong with you? Mm -mm, we just had a car flip over. Where you go, girl? This man got a lot of family issues he need to work through. You know, and that's obvious. He thinks the answer to, I'm telling y'all, you probably think I'm exaggerating. 
This is a masculine that really believes the answer to the majority of his problems is you. If I just find the right woman to take to take control of the ship. He didn't even consider that you didn't need him and would see right through the fact that this man is in such a needy position. It's just not even funny. Like, are you, is this, are you kidding me? This what you, you thought I was going to go for this? Oh, you had me confused with like a million people, did you not? Okay, gift, toil and labor. This man does not realize that in actuality, what you saw when he came into your life, you see gift and toil and labor. You, what he's trying to say is an offering. Marry me, let's be together. This is my offering. What you saw him offering you was an invitation to work your ass off. You see all the work in him. You like, and can't nobody do nothing with you. And what I'm with you giving me an opportunity to help you out of all these jams you think I don't know you in? Okay. You got him right. Whoever you are, like people might try to say you went hard on him. He gonna try to say you went hard on him. You the wicked witch now. Nah. You had him right. That's all. You had him right. What I say? Courthouse. Girl, this man got all types of mounting legal problems. From child support to cases, cases that still fell apart. And you, girl, what, what was you gonna do with that? So you're seeing through him, and you did see through him, okay? You're seeing through him, led you to call out the bullshit. You called him out for not being a divine masculine. Y'all see it, divine masculine. You called him out for not being a divine masculine. The very thing he's trying to get you to make it look like he is. You called him out like you're not that, bro. You're not a divine masculine, and, and we're not about to play those kinds of games, okay? You made that clear to him. This ain't it and you ain't him. Okay. You also knew his secrets and all the lies he was telling. I just told y'all that. You called him out for disturbing your peace. You called him out for all these lies and all these secrets he's been keeping from you. We already know this man was trying to look like a patriarch and a divine masculine at your expense. You called him out. We already know this man was keeping secrets, all types of legal problems and cases that still fell apart. You called him out. We already know this man was trying to disturb your peace. You called him out. Okay, that's what happened. You called him out. Okay. See, that dark feminine energy that you had, that assertiveness, that storminess, that outspokenness, that grown woman assness, that prophetic eye that you have made it very easy for you to look between the lines, okay? You looked between the lines with no problems. You saw right through like, wait, let's break this down to lower, the lowest common denominator. Why would you be trying to suddenly make me these offerings? Why are you suddenly trying to move into my home? Why are you suddenly telling me you want to be stepdaddy to me, my kids, and the dogs, and the plants, and everything else that's living in my house? Why is this suddenly your goal in life is to make this type of situation the immediate environment, okay, for you in your life? You saw through it like, no, let me let me straighten you out, bro. You just upset because everybody in your life sees you for who you are. You're just upset because you got this case on your back, that case on your back, and child support case, quick cases on your back. You're just upset because your peace is disturbed. You're not where you want to be in life. And you think that I'm supposed to help you be responsible for this. No. Okay? I'm not desperate. I'm cool with being single. Like, you're not about to use what you thought because remember this man thought he knew you you're not about, about to use what you thought was some kind of desperation in me to leverage your own hopeless ass situation like you let him know like no you thought i was a sucker you thought wrong okay period you know full well that this man we're seeing what you read him for you know full well that this man was partying when he should have been working you was having a good time when you should have been working you was laying up playing games when you should have been working. You was doing you when you should, when you should have been working. Okay, so you know all of this about him and you're bringing it to the forefront. You're saying all these things to him. Like, let me get you to understand how I know 
why I know this ain't that, okay? Third party interference. You understand that truthfully, the law is the third party in your relationship. You understand and have let him know you're making a lot of these decisions based on your legal troubles. Don't do that. You're making a lot of these decisions between your legal troubles and your family's poor impression of you. Your friends thinking you the weak link in the friend group. That's why you're doing the things that you're doing. It ain't about me. Okay? You really don't even have to talk to me. You're coming to me trying to make an offering to what? Come in my house and live off me? That's an offering now? That's a blessing? You want to lay up and have sex all day when you don't even have the money to put into this house? Magnetic attraction, passion. You think because you attracted to me, that's going to be enough? For me to shoulder damn near your whole life and give you a new image and make people think you're not the very dude that you showing up to me as. Why would I do you that kind of favor? Okay? Period. You letting him know if there's another woman, she can have you. Okay? Go over there to her. Whoever, baby mama, whoever this is you trying to evade financially, you need to go over there and make good with her. But see, making good with the BM is not going to help him. Because what he trying to do is look like the type of man that wouldn't even be dealing with her. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? He want to look like the type of man that wouldn't even be fooling with her. You feel me? So it's not going to benefit him to go over there with her. He can't be a patriarch in her house. He can be a broke baby daddy in her house. That's what he's trying to avoid. Okay? This man been out here still rapping, y'all. We see this music. You let him know. You were so busy out here with these mixtapes that wasn't going nowhere. Okay? You and her, girl. Him and his baby mama. We see this other woman in this music. Him and his baby mama call themselves was going to be the next uh, Ashanti and Ja Rule or something like that. And when it didn't take off, that's something else that failed. That's a relationship that failed and a career opportunity, what they thought was a career opportunity, obviously, that failed. Now he's trying to come back to you. Uh-uh. Mm. Mm -mm. Unfinished business and unresolved situation with insecurities. So you read this man down. Like you let him know the real issue is you got a lot of unresolved issues with that over there. Okay. With your financial situation. That's what your issues are. You got a lot of things you need to take care of. That's affecting your self-esteem, your manhood and how you feel about yourself. Don't bring it over here. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I don't have those kinds of problems. Look at this, anxiety and worry, nine of swords energy. This man been sitting back anxious, worried, confused, conflicted for God only knows how long. Is that your problem now? No, that's what you told him. I right, ain't just take your ass home. This man was hoping to get, once again, ten of pentacles, family and security off of you. You let him know, I'm not about to then become you because that's what was going to happen. Now, because he's still got, he's got all these problems that he's adding to your plate. So now you become the one that has to sit up at night worried about money, worried about kids, worried about where y'all going to be, worried about if you're going to be able to sustain the things in your life that you was already sustaining. You was already sustaining this stuff. You already had that stuff going for yourself. You already had the crib. You already, you know, you already had these things. Okay, five of swords energy. You like, I'm not going to let you come in here and betray me and create a situation for me because your situation is all screwed up. I'm not letting you do that. Okay, that's just, that's what we're not going to do, period. Okay. Child, you know, somebody in his, in his childishness, he's trying to be a user and that's not cool. Um, you let him know, you know the things, this is not what it looks like. That he didn't have the courage that he needed to even be with you. New love, renewed hope. you like, no. I'm sorry you thought that you could pull this out, baby. You cannot pull this out for me. Death card energy once again, okay? You transition this situation into one where you let him know, like, you're not going to influence me. Now, let me tell you something, because we ended on <laughs> not showing true self. This man feels like he just saw someone in you that he did not know, okay? This woman that just clearly saw right through him with divine perception, with no issues, and said, this is what you got going on in the background. This is what you got going on right now. And this is what you think you're going to have going on in the future. So you gave him a read that was a whole past, present, future read. And he can't handle that. I'm just telling you. He couldn't take it and he couldn't handle it. So this man is now in a position. Y'all, we already see it. 
where he's in the background trying to sling mud. You know how they do. Now I'm throwing dirt on your name. Oh, she turned out to be crazy. This man didn't think you were that way. So this man feels like you were two-faced. That's where this, oh, she a witch. She this, she that. He feels like you were two-faced. You know, I never really knew you. No, it's not that. You thought that you were going to be able to walk all over somebody. Okay? So this man now finds himself in heartbreak energy. But, but don't feel bad. Because remember, this man was going to try to manipulate you and say, oh, I know people that hurt you in the past, you know. Now I want you to be with me so that he could tangle you up, tie you up, and have you tethered to him in his bad circumstances, in his childish and immature self-made circumstances. It, it, was, it was never a point in this where he was truly sitting back thinking about you, who you are, what you got going on. He was never thinking that. He was never thinking that. Okay? He was never thinking that. He was always in a seven of swords energy thinking that he was going to be able to deceive and plan and trick his way into you being something to him that you never were planning to be in the first place. His motivations were just never right. Okay? Okay. Motivations were never right. So now he's like, oh, she wasn't happy with me for some reason. She's out here looking for somebody else. You know, probably, you know, I think she might have been doing a lot in the background, you know, trying to cope with me being gone. She probably devastated. You know, she stabbed me in the back. When you hear the story of y'all's relationship back to you from other people, it's going to be laughable to you. Okay. Is going to be laughable to you. The way he has tried to make you out. To be this villain and this demon. When this man really was just coming in your life. Laying a bowl of caca at your door. And then hoping that you were going to help him out of that jam. That's really what, what, what he was on. He wasn't on nothing else. Okay. This man was coming to you with jealousy. He was a whole red flag. And you saw it. That's all that happened. You just was like yeah. I'm not going to do this with you. I see it for what it is. I see through it clear as day. Okay. You told this man to stay in his lane. And this for him is just devastating. He has so much riding on getting himself tied up with a lady like you. So that he would be able to get the respect that he don't even damn deserve from friends and family. This, I'm telling you. Okay. That's what he was on. Oh, I'm trying to, you know, I already know, you know, she, she going to be there for me. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's where you was at. You was like, who told you that? Who told you that? When have you been there for me? That I should be there for you. There's a lot of lies. A lot of lies going on here. Okay. People be lying to themselves. This man showing up like a simp at this point to his friends. And always was. You're in star seed energy. Girl, you're moving towards being a whole legend. While this man is trapped in his shadow. Okay. And don't be surprised now he's going to sit back and start trolling you. You know, he's on social media watching you. He's doing all these different things because he's desperate. Okay. What did I say? That child support is on his ass. Okay. Father on the bottom of the deck. And this man is sitting back and he's in desperate and dire straits. Looking for a transition. He gonna transition all right. He finna transition his ass right down to the jailhouse for that child support he didn't put he didn't pay. Okay. We don't see nothing changing for you. We still see you sitting in privileged energy. So we know that what he was trying to do, it just didn't get nowhere with you. He just got cussed out. Amen. Okay. Don't don't do it to me. Okay. Don't do it to me. Play them games somewhere else. Play where it's safe. That's all you can say. Play where it's safe. All right. That's what you really gave him, to play with something safe. Um, and by you pulling your energy away from him, you do see that he immediately starts to go back into the actual space that he was in anyway. I got legal problems. I got child support problems. I got woman problems. You know, I'm not the type of gentleman that 
this type of woman privileged lady would want to permanently align herself with maybe sex maybe a good time here or there which is what he can offer because don't don't get it twisted when we see that wands and water sign energy high he, he he throwing some sex that's he's not having that problem that's why he got all them kids but you understand that that's that's all he can do you understand it what else what else he gonna do and you played him accordingly so when he came and tried to tether himself to you permanently, you was like, this ain't that. This man is going to attempt to reconcile with you, privileged lady. Okay? He going to still try to talk to you about them kids. Talking about you supposed to be his soulmate. You know, this man needs you because he needs you to help him with his kids. He not, I just told y'all, father, he not about to just flat out let this go. He about to try to come back to you with the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Like, can we talk? He finna be on your door. Girl, of okay? He finna be on your door. Can we get married? Let's just do it. You making this too difficult. Like, be my main thing, main female. Be, be, be my main woman. Like, and it's all fortune hunting, okay? It's all fortune hunting. He trying to tell you he was worth waiting for. Girl, this is all fortune hunting. This is all to see, keep him out of the despair financial and emotional despair that he's created for himself the concern that he has to sit around in from day in to day out okay based on the life that he created for himself so you ain't seen the last of this one still trying to call you up still trying to flirt still trying to grin and skin you have not seen the last of him i'm just telling you you have not seen the last to do at all he's gonna keep trying he's gonna keep begging Girl, this, this man going to be trying to pull out scriptures. Mind you, he doing all this in your face, but behind your back, he's setting the stage for telling everybody, oh, she ain't shit. Because he know that he kind of been kicked out on his ass. But before it gets out, he in the background lying about you, trying to get people to see that he, you know, I put in the effort. I was I was telling her, you know, sudden wealth. Like, I'm telling her, I could take you to the next level, babe. Like, I just need you to believe in me. He's going to try to make it sound like he was offering you a really traditional, biblical, straight up, I'm trying to make her my wife. And you're just such a witch, such a wicked bitch that he just was not able to get anywhere with you. I was being cool. I was being nice. I was offering her family. He's still trying to get his reputation off your name. I don't care. I don't care how it plays out. This man may run into a small amount of money and try to use that to say to people. Because it's about people. I was getting money and everything. She still played me. He is really trying to still get his rep off your name. So either he's with you. Now he's a patriarch with you. Or behind your back. He's out here in these streets. <laughs> he's out here in these streets behind your back. And he's like... I did everything I could for Sheila, man. You know, she just, she didn't want a real one. You know, she want to stay in a bad situation. So even still, even in that moment, he's still trying to create a storyline off of your back. Okay. Oh, I was trying to be spiritual for Sheila. You know, I was trying to do what I had to do for Shantae. I was working hard. You know, I told her I was working hard. Baby, he's a whole karmic experience. Y'all see that karmic relationship. He's a whole karmic experience and you knew it. The hell is this fool talking about sitting there in the background like I, I was giving her the best that I got no no you weren't you don't have nothing to give you pulled up here in a broke down chariot with a bunch of babies he needed you to help him feed so that you could try to make his karmic ass how, how much really can it get so you could try to make his karmic ass look official I'm just saying so you can try to make his karmic ass look. And this is what he's trying to do off your back. It, it just gets, it gets no realer than this. He's sitting there trying to get you to make him look like a really official guy. This man wants to come off like an emperor. He wants to come off like somebody that's solid on all four sides. Like he got his shit together. He wants to come off like he's a man that, you know, I, I, I have experienced something like this before. Somebody is just a whole loser and then they get some woman to take care of them, some karmic feminine energy that's willing to take care of them and pay their bills. And then they start going around acting like they are, they are patriarch. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen men that have never worked ever in their whole life 
And they sit up and try to give marital advice to other people while some woman is letting him lay up on his ass like he's 12 years old. That's this kind of energy. This man is looking for someone to make him look like a man to other people. He is not looking to be a man at all. Mother. What I say he was looking for? He looking for a mother. He looking for somebody to take care of him and acting like he doing you a favor. You could be the one. This could be you, me and you. Come on, let's get together. Yes. Don't you see it? Don't you feel it? His ancestors are pushing at him to be a man, not to take advantage of somebody. So he got karma coming to him because he's out here disrespecting and disobeying his own ancestors. He's trying to cheat in the race, if you will, with his own ancestors. Is this a joke? Is this amateur hour? It must be. He's looking for a mother figure, period. Not only that, because these go together. He's looking for a desperate mother figure. That's just like, I just want a man. I just want somebody to lay in the bed on, with me every night. And I'm really, basically, I'm going to pay for some dick. I'm going to pay. I want to look like I'm about that life. I want to look like I'm a matriarch. I want to look like I'm, I can pull some ass. So I'm going to use you. While he uses her to look like a patriarch. You don't have to use nobody, sister. Because you are the real divine dark feminine energy that you are. You actually the whole enchilada. Why would you be? What's, who you going to use? And for what? You, I, we, we, is this a, Are we kidding? You in that vibe. You like, why would I be using somebody? I ain't use. I don't use shit. Okay? You on a whole nother level with yours and that's why he chose you not understanding that right okay you chose me because you see me as a long-term option that why should i choose you when, when you gonna make that you ain't think about that he didn't think about that he feel like he a man that's enough <laughs> Ooh, the patriarchy to sent him off how he how he trying to benefit from patriarchy and ain't even a damn patriarch okay we see the lovers right here okay expectations you have expectations. He was looking for a desperate woman woman that just wanted some ass. We, you, this, that's not what we do. That's not what we do. We, we got expectations on this side of the fence. I don't know who told you what or why they told it to you, but you're going to have to walk the right walk over here. You're a crossroads type of woman. You're a crossroads feminine. When a man gets to you, he got to change his life. He ain't want to change his life. He going to have to catch the message and go. <laughs> <laughs> this man sitting here now like trying to figure out what could he say to you now okay this man is sitting here like what could he say to you now that will shift the course of action for y'all seriously he like what could i say now it's got to be something i could say i'm at this crossroads for her what can i say what can i text what can i do is this i can call her he's trying to figure out how to sway things he's not even a good manipulator though how can he sway things? Financial issues are a factor. He ain't got no money. And money talks with you. If he could pay a bill or buy a home, what can, he, what can you do? You pulled up with an empty chariot on 227. What you doing? What are you doing? He All he has for you to really offer is attraction. You think this man is very attractive, okay? But he's lacking. You were dealing with him for what he could offer. He nice looking. He was throwing it in, in the sack. That's it. It is safe for you to love. Okay, we see that here. Right. It is safe for him to love you. Because you 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 doing you. But what what do he got though? Okay. This man next is gonna start trying to talk about y'all leaving town. He's gonna try to make that his new message. I want y'all to hear it because I ain't playing. Okay? I'm trying to tell y'all. Remember, he's trying to think of a message. So next it becomes come on, let's just leave town. Okay, let's just run off together. Again, he's trying to create a narrative. Let's run off to paradise together. Let's get lost. See, if he can at least, maybe he gets you excited about that. Let's just run away. Let's go to another town. Y'all, I had a guy ask me one time, <laughs> let's just go move to Alaska. That's some desperate shit. Alaska. This is how hard he was trying to go to create a new life for himself. Something where nobody would know he was still a clown. He'd say, oh, what happened to, to Corian? Oh, he moved. 
to Alaska with him. Well, yes, he started a whole new life. Yes, he started a whole new life, igloo and all. Okay. Ain't that where they had the igloos at? Couldn't nobody track that. We just down low in Alaska in the igloo. Who could track that? That's what this man is trying to do because his reputation is shot. So now it's just like, we don't know what happened. He, he moved up. He's a piece of Alaskan patriarch now. Okay. This y'all, y'all don't understand how far people will go when they know they don't have what it takes to stand in their peer group. They will go really freaking far. Okay. Your inner wisdom saved you from this, but you're about to get some comedy because in, in his attempts to express his so-called love and try to get out of the jam he made for himself and trick you off into paradise, y'all remember Atlantis went under. We, don't even, we ain't even sure what Atlantis did no more. It went so far under and it was such a catastrophe that we, we just hear about it. It's a myth. That's, that's where Buddy is at. That's what, what comes from being with him. That's all it could be. He telling you all this, oh, it would be paradise. Girl, that ain't going to be no damn paradise. We talking Atlantis. We talking something here today, gone tomorrow. Okay, express your love. Who got love to express? Okay. This man's gonna really try it again. He, you know, listen. We see this catalyst catas here. There's still some mercury energy present with this man. Tricky, moving fast, trying to make himself look like he's 100% mentally healthy and on point. That's a trick. He's not. His family know he's not. Everybody know. Something got to be wrong with dude because ain't not, nothing he does pans out. We are trying to figure out, wow, what's wrong with him? Uh? So who he is and who he is not has already been discovered. Girl, don't listen to that. He trying to get, get it to look like he, he that dude again for the sake of, you know, for the sake of whatever it is. I just told y'all a moment ago, it, it's time to back off from him, but you don't need to do that. You already know that. But when he sees you backing off, he is going to try to come. Once again, we're seeing with the same offering. Hey, let's me and you just run away together. That's his answer. That's all he knows to do. Understand also, he's done those things before. This man has been here before. Women trying to get away from his stupid ass. He's been through this before. It's nothing new. Let's disconnect from the world and just get married. He's going to try to, try, try to keep pushing that at you. Except the next time he tries to push it at you, it's going to have the let's, let's run away together. Let's relocate. Let's relocate. Okay. Let's go in front of a judge in another place that this will make it work. This is going to be an unrequited love for him. Okay. He's going to have to go find him someone else, new love, and he's going to have to find some money because you're not doing this with him. You're just not doing it. It ain't even no more complex than that. You're not doing this with him. Okay, this he, he trying to y'all gonna have a future together? No, we're not, girl. You know you done figured out who he is already today. Today, girl, today you like I can't I can't with you, bro. Okay, this man is gonna try to reinitiate this in January. He's gonna keep trying to reinitiate. You see, way off in the future, he's gonna keep trying this. It will never be the right time for you. Okay, he's gonna keep trying to get this back cracking. And the reason for that is because he don't even really come across a lot of you, like your type of lady. So he's like, if I could just get her to be with me, I know I would be able to get the respect that I'm looking for. I know that she would be able to help me figure out how to get out of some of these jams, pay some of this money, help me with my credit. You ain't finna do none of that for that fool. This man is really trying to be a player. He's going to be who he's been. And this is going to be painful for him. We see hurting. We see agonizing pain. It's going to be painful for him at the point in the story where he just has to face the fact that no woman of a certain caliber, mentally, spiritually, or financially, is going to get in this mess with him. He is going to have to be responsible for himself as a man. There is no woman that can mommy him out of it. His grandmama won't even mommy him out of it. She waiting for him to figure it out. And he over at your house thinking if he can marry you, his grandmama might think he a man. What are we doing? What are we doing? You know what it is. Intuition and inner knowing. And somewhere deep in himself, he knows too. But he was hoping that he could get with you, capitalize on your pentacles, energy, safety, and comfort. Okay? And that his romantic feelings would be enough. That brings us back to the page of cups. 
that brings us back to the Page of Cups because the Page of Cups is a very image, it's a page, and this cups a very immature love, um, middle school, you know, energy, um, very young love, very, oh my God, I got a crush on you. It is not matured. It is not the King of Cups by any way, shape, or form, okay? And so with that being said, he was hoping that this would be enough. And in seventh grade, sixth grade, oh my God, I got a crush on you. Well, that is enough. That's the type of cards he was trying to play. That's the type of cards he was trying to play. This man has a lot of regrets, not so much about you, but about his life. And that is going to be where things come for him, where things arrive for him, where he's going to really have to realize some things with you and at this point in his life, period. Because... His inability to get out of the jam that he's in really has to do with his life decisions, not you, his life, his own personal life decisions and where they have led him to. OK. And this is something that he's going to have to contend with. OK, his life decisions have been such that. He got to get real with himself about some things um, quickly. OK, quickly. Again, you are going to continue to hear from him, okay? I don't see you answering the phone, but this is a man who has allowed his regrets about his life to dictate his actions. So because he's unhappy with himself, once again, he's, he's bothering you. And at best, all you are now is an ex, okay? At best, you're an ex, whether he realized it or not. He can scratch at the door still all he wants to. The relationship is over. You've seen him for who he is. You're not going to unsee him for who he is. What are we doing? Okay. If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay. Do not be afraid to come on through the building. Hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages. Okay. And if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel to feed the reader a little cheese, I always say I love cheese, y'all. Go ahead, hit me up at DF Tarot Tea at Cash App or PayPal. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.